Hi everyone, my name is Brooke with Bees Budgets and this budget video will be a cash stuffing for my bi-weekly expenses, sinking funds, and extra savings challenges. So if that sounds interesting to you, please continue to watch the video, like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into it. So I'm going to start with unstuffing my wallet from my cash expenses of last bi-weekly and we have food is first and food get or food has left one two three dollars and I just I, I've just been keeping track of this so I can kind of just look back on it and see if I need to make any adjustments or if it's at a pretty good amount eat out has I can get it out of here. Has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight dollars left, which is pretty impressive for us, <laughs> as this is one of our most popular envelopes, other than the food, of course, groceries. Me has nothing left. I bought a candle. Halloween candle wasn't really decor because I used the candle um, but I used my money for that just something I like I love candles Liam my son has sorry I'm this is a new this is a new wallet I got if you didn't see last video so I'm trying to get used to it and it's still a little stiff um, but anyway so I'm trying to get that all <laughs> figured out here Liam has 25, 6, 7, and 8 dollars left. He did buy a Nintendo Switch game with his money, and I'll put that up here just so I can have that. Um, that is a rollover envelope for us. And then Miscellaneous had nothing left. This I did buy some Halloween decor with. And then I created a new envelope, which is house. So looking at all my sinking funds and all of my budget. The main sinking fund I have to keep pulling into is personal, which is just basically a, um, I mean, it is a personal folder, but what it's getting used for the majority of the time is household items, toiletries, um, you know, medicine for the house, just house items. And so I went ahead and I'm going to go ahead and create a house envelope in my actual um, wallet. And so hopefully it cuts down on having to use that sinking fund that, as much. And then I will pull the change out of here. Usually I do this first. This wallet's got me a little off my normal stuffing schedule. And so put that in here, my, my coin jar. Zip that back up and we are completely unstuffed now. So I'll leave that open. Let's try what I do with my normal binders. Put that here and then this is just a copper paperweight that I have Let's see if that works so we had so Liam had $28 I forgot to write this down $28 left a little off kilter today miscellaneous had zero and then um, house is a new envelope I created so obviously it has NA because it wasn't stuffed last week so for rollover, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven dollars left. So that will then go into my rollover little mini safe thing. <clears throat> oh no, it won't. They're all ones. Never mind. That goes into my one bank. I'm sorry. This is just my little pencil case, just full of ones that I've collected over the years. I guess I have to close this up because I gotta get the money out. Oh, it's just been one of those days where everything's just a little off kilter. So hopefully you don't have to bear with me too much, but bear with me. And then we will move on to our actual money. So this is my bank teller slip and I pulled out uh, 1340 for this bi-weekly. I will be adding $20 to this that I pulled out of my rollover. This is my rollover um, safe and this is just any money that's left over from wallet, from like pulling money out of the wallet or anything like that. 
I put in here and um, this is basically just a buffer that I have at my house. So any expenses that I use in my sinking funds that I have to pull out, I will then pull that out and I'll put it in here. I have a buffer checking account and if that gets used more than $200, from just swiping my debit card, I will then go into this, pull $200 out, and then put that back into my buffer checking account so that that can stay at $2,000 is what I like that buffer to stay at in my checking account. So that's just what I've been trying to do and see if it works. But again, this is all subject to change because I am new to this. So we should actually have $13.60 in here because I did add $20 from that rollover for the new house envelope that I created. So let's go ahead and count this money from the bank. And we have one, two, three, four, five, hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, six hundred, twenty, forty, sixty. Oh my goodness, guys. I told you it's been a crazy morning. So we have five 100s, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, Three, 200, <laughs> 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. So perfect. So let's get this money in our sorter and let's go ahead and get into our sinking funds. Let's switch this paper over to our sinking funds. And we start with our pink binder. I feel like everything's pushed. Must have set my camera up a little bit different this time because I feel like I don't have enough room to see the envelopes, but I think we got it now. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Maybe this is too far over. Okay, we're gonna start off with tags and tags is gonna get $5. And I already have the trackers in here up to date, um, but I have not yet wrote the total here. So five, 10, 15, 20, and 25. I do that ahead of time just because when you're filming, sometimes you count wrong because you're trying to, you're trying to hurry in a way that, you know, your video isn't two hours long. And so if anything goes wrong, then I can look at my tracker and look what I have wrote down. And then I know that my tracker is more accurate than what I have wrote down. Cause this I'm doing on video, this I'm doing off camera. And then pool is going to also get $5. And that is five, 10, 15, 20, 25. As we um, have our pool closed now. So this is just building up for the next season to open um, the season up and any chemicals that we need to purchase for the pool. Then car, this is just eventually I will be buying a new car in cash. <laughs> and so this is just to kind of help kickstart that, which isn't gonna happen for a while down the road. So new car has got 10, 20, 30, 40, 55. Okay, and then deck, um, as we got a new pool this year, we wanted to put a deck on, but the lumber prices were insane, so we're just holding off to hopefully next season. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, doll hairs, and deck. Renovation, so this is just renovations for our home that we're planning on doing in probably the next five to 10 years, 
um, 20, 30, 40, 55. Um, they are going to be very large renovations because we'll be extending off the front of our house. So that's not gonna happen for a very, very long time. So why not go ahead and just start put, tucking a little away here and there um, now so that hopefully we don't have to figure that out later on. Clothing will be getting 20. So as winter is approaching, I might have to uh, get my son some winter, new winter um, snow pants and stuff like that, gloves, hats, 20, 30, 40. So I figured I would go ahead and stuff this back up as he is good on clothes. It's just gonna be winter gear, sorry for that. Okay, that's all for that binder. Next, we will go into the my black binder. Now, again, I don't know if you've seen any of my previous videos. Like I said, I am fairly new to this. So when I wrote out all my seeking funds to get all this stuff set up, I didn't sort any of this so there's no rhyme or reason it's in a specific binder I think eventually I probably will sort it out to short term long term savings you know Christmas will be getting a hundred and fifty Christmas is approaching us quickly and I need to beef this one up typically I always put a hundred in um, haven't decided if I'm gonna switch that now to 150 every time or what but we have one, two, three, four, five hundred, twenty, forty, and fifty. I cannot believe how fast Christmas is coming. So we got that. I haven't even started shopping. Have you guys even started shopping for your Christmas yet? I just, I feel like it should be six more months away, but it is definitely not. Gifts will be getting twenty. So gifts now has 20, 40, 50, 65. So 65. Um, car maintenance will be getting 20. Sorry if you guys hear any background noise. I usually do these videos on weekdays when my son is in school on Fridays but yesterday I had to work and so I think I'm gonna start doing them on Saturdays which means he's not at work we'll see how he does he's seven so <laughs> if it gets too chaotic in the background then maybe I'll switch back to my weekday <laughs> um, videos but car maintenance is I added 20 so it has 20 40 60 80 100 20 40 60 80 210 happy about that it's just the weekends work so much better for me the weekends that I have off that's why I do bi-weekly um, cash stuffings I do work or I do get paid every week um, however I work 12 hour shifts so one week I work two days and then the next week I only have two days off so I work every other weekend and so, but we get paid on Fridays. So it's actually easier for me to film on a Saturday, but I didn't start doing it that way because my son being at school during the week, I just, I just um, prolonged my budget for two days until the weekend was over and then just did the video when he was in school. However, the weekend just works better for me, so we're gonna try it and see. Um, Liam's savings is going to get 50. And so he has 120, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 300, and 10. It is crazy to see how fast these envelopes build up. As before, I couldn't tell you where half of my money went. <laughs> I've always made this wage and I've, you know, I've always, I, we have a savings account and stuff, don't get me wrong, but 
it just feels like you save more when you're tracking it like this. So house payoff will be getting 10. So that will be 20, 40, 60, 75. And this is just um, when we are done with paying off my boyfriend's truck in less than about a year, we will then start working on our mortgage. And so this is just to help when we're ready for that to just kickstart that. Emergency fund will be getting 50. This is not our only emergency fund, it's just an added two. And emergency fund now has 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. I can't wait till these get up here and I can start pulling out those $500 and $1,000 place card holders and do unstuffing videos, which are hands down my favorite, other than savings challenges. I love savings challenges too. House cash is exactly what it says. It's just cash to be in the house. And that is $20. It has no destination, no rhyme, no reason, nor person tied to it. It's just for the house. So 20, 40, 60, 80. 100, 20, 40, 60, 80. I just like having cash in the house available to everyone that lives in my house. So if something happens, I'm not here, they have access to some cash. Oh, why did this get all blurry? Oh man, I hope that wasn't for a lot of it, the video. I'm sorry guys, if it is, I'm not really sure what happened there. This camera is usually really, really good at keeping tracking on, right? Oh, well, hopefully that wasn't on there the whole time. I left my, I do this all the time. I leave this paperweight gold bar in the in the binder whenever I go to close it up and then I need it for the next one. Health will be getting $10. So health now has 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. I wonder if the reflection off these just made that um, tracking just go weird. It was tracking like over here, or I'm sorry, it lost its tracking. Typically I put the tracking bar like right here so it keeps these um, what words keeps these numbers from going super blurry um, but the tracking bar went up here for some reason I'm not sure what that was all about so vision is 20 vision now has 20 40 60 80 120 40 60 80 this will be for LASIK for my boyfriend, eventually one day. He will eventually go to the doctor and see what that entails for him to get LASIK. He keeps pushing it off, I don't know why. Personal, so like I said before, this is the envelope, the only sinking fund I've had to dig into, honestly, since I started. And so it keeps getting depleted and then filled back up and depleted, so this time I'm gonna put $50 in it. And hopefully that holds, lets this kind of hold. I mean, I understand that that's the reason for sinking funds, for you to go in, use them when you need them, and fill them back up. But I like to just, I would like to just have a little bit of buffer in there so I'm not draining it every time and then filling it back up. So I'm hoping with the new house um, um, envelope in my wallet will kind of help with this. So 20, 40, 60, 75. really would like this to sit at just a minimum of $100 just because it really is an envelope that has so many things that could be used for it. It's 
I mean, just being personal. It's almost as a miscellaneous. So I would like for that one to stay beefed up. Um, $5 for taxes. I don't know if I'm going to need to pay taxes, so I'm just tucking a little way. 20 30 40 5 just in case I have to. And then Doggy, I'm so excited to announce we get to bring our new puppy home on Thanksgiving week. Um, so we're going to go on Monday to go see the puppies again. And then we go on November 10th to pick our puppy. And then we get our puppy on Thanksgiving week. So I'm so excited we got to meet them uh, last week. And they're so tiny and so precious. And I'm just, I'm over ecstatic. I can't wait. So 20, 40, and 50. So puppy or dog, which this will now change, we've decided as a household to name our doggy Ace. So dog is probably gonna now, I'm probably gonna take that off and I'm probably gonna now switch everything to say his name, which is Ace. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 95. So this is gonna help with all the stuff we need to get. We have quite a bit of stuff here from our previous dog. Um, she was almost 17 years old and I had to put her down. She was my baby. Um, I had to put her down about a year and a half ago now. So um, so I have a lot of like her bed, her bed and stuff that I think we're gonna use for the puppy. Just kind of like past the tradition of having her here and Hopefully the puppy likes it, which I'm sure he will. Because they were it was all brand new stuff when we moved into this house three years ago. So it's not like it's old and worn out, but I'm sure he'll be happy. Vacation is going to get $10, but we're so excited. $10, 20 35 And everyone in the house was super patient with me and waited for me to be ready for a new dog. They were all ready. Um, a little, a couple months after we had to put her down. I was not. She has been my baby. She's been through everything with me. Getting married, divorce, having a baby. Um, and then my um, ex-husband passed away. She was there for all of that. She just, she's in every major change in my life. And everything that's kind of molded me into the adult that I am now. She was there for all of that. And so it it took a little piece of me when we had to put her down. So it took me a while to be okay to bring another dog in here. She's never going to be replaced. That's never going to happen. But I think it's time for us to share our love with another dog. So... All right, budget will be getting $5. So 5 10 15 25 but I'm excited for Ace. I can't wait to have dog hair everywhere again. I can't wait to, we have hardwood floors mostly in this house. I can't wait to hear the little toenails on the floor again. And I'm just, I'm ready. I'm ready to have another love of a dog here. All right, so sinking funds are done. Now moving on to our savings challenge, my favorite part. The favorite of my videos for me. So for the budget, or for the savings challenges, we're going to start with Saveopoly. If you are new to my channel and you don't know, um, me, my boyfriend, and my son participate in all of the savings challenges. So with Saveopoly, my boyfriend rolls the dice and then I roll the dice. And we do do this before video just because he works nights. Uh, and then usually my son is in school when I do these videos. It's going to be impossible for me to get them in here to do the video of it happening live. So that's just how it's going to be. And then at my end of the week check-ins for my budget, that's when I will pull an extra envelope, just me by myself, and I do do that in front of the camera. So, 
Um, save Opley. My boyfriend rolled and he got a 10 and I got 40 for what we landed on. So we will go ahead and stuff that in here. I do not count what's in here. However, I do keep the bills straight. As in, they go, tens go with the tens. I can't do everything just rolling around here crazy. And mine was 40. We'll put that right back in there. It takes every ounce of me and my body to not count this. <laughs> but I'm going to stick to it. And then once this gets to this envelope, I don't even know how far we're going to go. I don't know if we're going to go all the way to the 52 box or we're going to quit early. I really don't have a rhyme or reason for any of my savings challenges other than I absolutely love them. They're my favorite videos to watch and I just wanted to play too. <laughs> so um, I think when this just gets too full and I can't fit any more in here, I'm just going to make a second envelope and that's, that's just how the only way I'm going to be able to keep it a surprise from myself. Okay, Saveopoly is finished. Next comes the 100 envelope challenge. Our envelopes are numbered 15 all the way to 115 with three bonus mystery envelopes. Those envelopes have question marks on them and whoever is the one that pulls those envelopes will choose how much they want to put in there. We do budget for our savings challenges. So um, this budget was a little bit higher because we did get a little extra bonus. Um, for every quarter at work, we do get a pay, perform pay performance bonus. And so we went ahead and pulled two envelopes each for the 100 envelope challenge and for the 50 envelope challenge. So my boyfriend pulled the 102 envelope and he pulled the 33 envelope. I pulled the 83 and the 107. So let's go ahead and stuff these. So 100, five, and then any ones comes out of the ones bank, six and seven. And these I have to fold the corner down because I had to cut the envelope down in order to even get it to fit the box that I care that I store them in. And then um, 83 will be 20, 40, 60, 80, and one, two, three. And then just in case no one knows, $50 bills are not allowed on my channel because of math. <laughs> so I can't count them, they stress me out. So I'm just going to, my goal is to eliminate any stress um, factors that I have in my life and this is one thing I have control over to eliminate so no $50 bills allowed <laughs> just in case you're wondering why I don't have any 50s so next envelope is 33 so 20 30 1 2 and 3 And then our next envelope is 102, so 100, one, and two. box in the back just so we don't re-pull them I might have to store these in something different because this is starting to get pretty stuffed with the money actually in it guys I just went to go pick up my box for my 50 envelope challenge and look they completely dumped out Oh, it's okay. We're just going to salvage the situation and not to get upset about it. Hey, luckily they all like 
came up the way I grabbed them. There's some things messed up here, but that's okay. We can fix it, right? Oh my goodness. Okay. And so my sons are the ones in the back. His are the prettier designed ones. And I have this place card for Liam's challenge. Beautiful. Look, okay, crisis averted. <laughs> I cannot believe that happened. Okay, so I'm gonna color these in real quick. So we got the 102 people color in their trackers on camera or do you like it to be fast forward or already done prior to video? I personally like watching people color it in. It's kind of relaxing in a weird way. And then our next envelope was 83. But I don't have to put this on camera if people, if you guys don't like it. So just let me know. 83 and then 107. I can't wait for this to be filled up and counting all this money. It's going to be exciting. Okay, so all of those are up to date. And then next we are doing our 50 envelope. So for our 50 envelope, um, Jake pulled 21 and five, and then I pulled the 10 and the 40. So let's go ahead and stuff those. So 21. Do you guys have any plans this weekend? I mean, other than Halloween, of course. I cannot believe it's Halloween. I, it's insane. I, I cannot even fathom how fast the last two months have gone. I don't know why. Nothing has changed in my life. Everything is normal. Um, ten dollars. But I just it it blows my mind that we are already going trick or treat on Sunday. That's insane. 40. I feel like I went to sleep and I slept for like a month and a half and then woke up. <laughs> is that just me? I feel like everybody else is like ready and on it and I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, maybe I'm in a different universe. <laughs> okay. So I will put a paper clip on those. I'll store those in our section. And then we created a little small one for Liam so that he can participate. And he also got to pull four envelopes and he pulled a four, a two, another four, and a $10. His envelopes range from one to $10, being different amounts. Um, and whenever all of his envelopes are filled, he will have $150. And most of his envelopes, other than the tens and the fives, get stuffed from the ones bank that I have filled all up that I'm slowly depleting down. I think I'm gonna take the ones down to $20. And then I'll start pulling ones out of the bank if I need them. But until this gets down, there is no reason to pull ones out of the bank. I don't need this many ones in my life. I think when I started budgeting, I had $130 in ones in there, which is insane. <laughs> Who needs that many $1 bills? And they didn't have any reason. I just, for, I don't know, for... I just always collected $1 bills. I'm not really sure why. And that's why I'm not doing any um, challenges for like ones challenges or fives challenges because I already have a problem with stashing ones for no reason. So I don't I don't need to challenge myself for that. I need to unchallenge myself. <laughs> Stop 
hoarding one dollar bills. <laughs> okay, so I put that away, put our ones away, and fill out our tracker. So we had our tracker for our 50 envelope. Um, 21. And this one only has 50 envelopes in it. The, obviously, the 50 envelope challenge. My, oh my. Um, so this one's gonna be done a lot quicker. And when this one is finished, it will have $1,275. So that will be nice to just have no reason for it and have an extra $1,200. Almost like a stimulus check. <laughs> Only it's from ourselves. So $5 is next. And then we're on to ten dollars. And then forty dollars. are making waves on that for sure okay and that is it for the 50 challenge why do I have all the oh my gosh guys I didn't even do my cash envelopes for my wallet <laughs> I just skipped right past it. it was like let's get into the sinking funds oh I wanted to get to the savings challenges to be honest that was my most excited okay let's go back and let's uh let's fill our <laughs> our wallets envelopes which is honestly probably the most important ones to fill but I digress so we will be stuffing 250 for food I was wondering I'm like why do I have all this money left I really did not count something right this time oh boy oh boy I think I just skipped right past it because I wrote the imbalances here and so I just didn't even didn't even register to me. I don't know. And so I think what I actually said, because I made all these papers, I think, oh, it went blurry again. Ugh. It must be when I move the, like when I pick up and switch the papers. I don't know. Um, I think it's because when I, when I, I made all of these myself. I'm sure you can tell, <laughs> but I think I set this up so that for the imbalance, I would write on the previous budgets sheet so I could see the imbalance, but I, I've been doing the opposite. And so I think that's what threw me off. Maybe I don't know. Eat out. will be getting 60, 20, 40, 60, a long winded, um, explanation or slash excuse on how I missed that because I don't even know <laughs> me gets 20 oh my my oh my Liam gets 20 and then we will put that in with his previous rollover so now he has 20 45 6 7 and 8 48 um he was collecting money since we started this um and just not spending it and so he already has a savings he already has a piggy bank that he puts money in here and there so what i told him is this is his spending envelope this is his excuse to go buy something that he wants and if he wants to save up this money that's perfectly fine but that i will not allow this envelope to go over 150 dollars so if this envelope goes over $150, then it will then just convert right into his savings. 
and he was okay with that. So I, I'm trying to teach him that, yes, savings, saving money is very extremely important. Don't get me wrong. Absolutely. And it should be people's number one. But I struggle with him to enjoy his money and spend his money. And it, that helps with teaching him money, too, on top of it. You can't just save forever and then expect your partner or whoever, whenever you're older and you're with somebody, to just be okay with never indulging on anything. It's just not going to work out. And I want him to have a healthy relationship with money. And that is saving yes but it's also enjoying and it's also giving like that's you know the three foundations to money to have a healthy relationship with it so miscellaneous is going to get 20 and so that's the rule i put on this envelope and he so it kind of you know he wanted this nintendo d um switch game for probably the last six months and it took me basically saying buy it you have money to buy it and you will still have some left over i don't understand i know that he's only six but i don't understand where he has gotten this concept of the roof is gonna fall one day and he's gonna have nothing i don't get it he's only six <laughs> and i don't live like that so i don't know where he picked that up at but I'm trying. This is a way that I am trying to help him be have a healthy relationship with money and learn to enjoy it because it is enjoyable. Money can buy fun things, things we want. And it can also help us in saving. So with that, that's the end of the video. I have no money left. Look at this, guys. Counted it right. There's no extra. That's awesome. And I am going to leave you with a money quote. And the money quote is, save money and money will save you. I don't, <laughs> maybe I should have picked a different money quote after I went on this whole rant of my son having issues with spending money. So anyway, that's all I have for you guys. If you liked the video, comment, subscribe, and like. That would be greatly appreciated. Um, but that's all I have for you. So I'll see you in the next video. See ya.